Well, good morning YouTube. So those that have uh, been watching my channel for a while will know there's um, a fair few cars on the channel, uh, bike as well. Um, but my son uh, has for many years had himself an MR2. Uh, his first car was a Renault, which we bought him on his 17th, 18th birthday, something like that. But he decided he wanted an MR2. Now, it's not quite standard, this MR2. It's had a lot of work done to it. It's uh, a V6 swap, and uh, yeah, there's very little original left on it. Um, but today, um, I'm going to give the paintwork some attention. Um, it had a, a spray job some years ago, but uh, I don't think the paint was particularly good quality. And it blooms a lot. Let me show you uh, what I mean. So, if you can see here, it's got like a, a white sheen on it, which is called blooming. Um, and it's basically, you can, if I'm a bit like that, you can see, you can get it off. It's like oxidization. Ox I'll start again, oxidization, easy for me to say, on the paintwork. Um, so I did a little bit of work already on the back here, just give it a quick polish, nothing special. But today I'm gonna to get out the machine polisher and see if we can't make it a little bit better. Um, as you can see on the wing here as well, it's gone very, very sort of white hazy. Um, there's a lot of scratches and swirls on it. it hasn't had anything done to it for quite a while. Um, my son Nathan needs to polish it a lot more, <laughs> as I keep telling him, but, you know, he likes driving it, not polishing it. He's not like me. So we're going to get the machine polisher out and uh, just quickly go over it, see if we can make it a little bit better. So today's weapon of choice, T-cut and a tool. Stage one hasn't come out too bad so far. There you go. You can uh, you can definitely see the reflection in that now. Uh, as I say, the paintwork's not 100%, but it is a awful lot better. So that's this side done. Uh, obviously, the bonnet needs to be done next. The trouble is with the bonnet, it's fiberglass, so it does flex a bit. So we're going to be really careful on that. Um, the front bumper is probably the worst bit. That's really bloomed quite badly. And, uh, the other side is not as bad. It's a, the boy's having fun doing a little bit as well. Learning how to polish with tea cut. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, good stuff, right? We'll carry on. Blame the wing. So, there's that many angles on this car. Look <laughs> what it's done to my pad. Boy, <sighs> your car's a pain.
Okay, so that is the first pass. And as you can see, it's looking an awful lot better. Um, a lot less bloom on it. And certainly getting the shine to it now. Now, I know in the comments it's going to say, oh, you destroyed all those pads. You should have put masking tape on. You should have done this. You should have done that. You wouldn't have destroyed your pads. Yeah, I know. Very good point. And I totally agree. The thing is with this, it, it has edges all over the place. Pop-up pad lights, all that in the grill, in the bonnet. Every single thing on this car is an angle. So, I just used old sacrificial pads just to get it done. So, yes, you're right. I should have taped things up. I should have done this, I should have done that. If I was doing it properly, yes, I would have done. But like I say, all the pads I've got are sacrificial. They've been well used and I didn't care about destroying them. Um, I've got some new ones, so it really doesn't matter. But the next step now is um, get some finishing cut on there. Uh, tea cut's quite harsh, so now I'm just going to finish it off with some fine paste and then we'll give it a good waxing. In fact, I think the boy will give it a good waxing. <laughs> and... Um, It'll look like new! Well, new if is it, what, 32 years old? <laughs> it's uh, 23, 23, 24. 23, 24 years old. so about 24 years old. So, considering it's not that bad. Um, like I say, the paint was done before, well, it was done before you bought it, wasn't it? Yeah. And I don't think it's a particularly it. expensive spray job. Um, there was a lot of bog in there. Uh, we've since chopped all that out and put new panels in. Uh, it's had all new sills. It's had uh, eight pillars here. That's all new. Um, the floor is absolutely rock solid. The chassis, the floor, everything else underneath, absolutely rock solid. Um, but there's just bits and bobs to let it down. But considering it's getting on for 30 years old, it ain't bad at all. Right, let's crack on. So today's finishing polish is pure definition diamond fusion. Good stuff this, give it a try. now is a polish and guess who's doing that <laughs> not me <laughs> you yes enjoy i'll leave it with you right have I've fun got the sun blaring me eye so i can't see anything yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> have fun yep <clears throat> bye 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 doing my bit gonna sit down now <laughs> you're having fun yeah why not <laughs> <laughs> it's looking shiny Looking much better. It's a nice car when it's shiny. You usually say it's a noisy piece of junk. Well, it is as well. But at least it's shiny when it's shiny. At least it doesn't <laughs> chuck our warnings up every 20 minutes. No. Like Audis do. No, Audis don't. Audis is fine. I need a service, I need this, I need that. You're like a child. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> it's not bad for an old car. It's done well to last so long. <laughs> it's done well to last so long. Considering it's as old as you, it's in better shape than you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 
it's three years newer. Let's give it another three years. You're all right then. <laughs> Still at it. Yeah. It's looking good though. Looking pretty good. That's some, uh, some good polish you got there. Some, some Aveeno. Yeah. <laughs> Does that work well on cars? Close to I've got hand sanitizer. Ah, okay. It's not going to get coronavirus anytime soon. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> yeah. Got to be safe. We're being safe. Cars got to be safe as well. Exactly. I'm going to fit a mask to it as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're safe. That's all that matters. Now I got to ride or die.